Lecture 11.3, Functions of Two or More Independent Variables. The functions that we have studied this year have all been functions of one independent variable. For example, f of x equals x squared, or f of x equals sine x. With more than one independent variable, we can do so much more. Here's an example of a function with two independent variables. In real life, functions often have more than one independent variable. For example, the area of a triangle, a equals 1 half bh, is a function of the base and the height. We could write f of bh equals 1 half bh. f of xyz equals radical x squared plus y squared plus z squared could be interpreted as the length of the diagonal of a box. It could also be written w equals radical x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Functions with two independent variables can be represented graphically. This is not easy to do by hand, and our calculators do not do a great job either. For our example, we'll use z equals f of xy equals 100 minus x squared minus y squared. <coughs> 